Hello and welcome to PowerOps Desktop. Bookmarks in Power BI can be a powerful tool, but they often leave us guessing. Have you ever struggled to understand what exactly a bookmark is doing? What filters or visuals it's affecting? In Power BI, that level of insight just isn't available at a glance. That's where PowerOps comes in. Under the Analyze tab, the bookmark feature will get you a clear and detailed view of every component, helping you see exactly what each bookmark controls. No more guesswork, just a simple way to manage your bookmarks with confidence. In this video, I'll walk you through how PowerOps makes handling bookmarks a breeze, giving you the power to unlock their full potential. So let's start by adding a file to the PowerOps desktop. I'm going to choose the file type here as report. The file format here is PBIX. You have different options here to choose from. And then I'm going to click on browse here and then head over to the location where I have my file saved. This is the file that I would like to analyze and then click on add. It will take a few seconds to analyze the report and show all the information that you are seeing here on the screen. Under the analyze tab, let's head over to the report section and particularly we are interested in the bookmark section in this tutorial. So these are all the bookmarks that we have in the Power BI file that we just added to Power Ops desktop. And here it is also telling you that we have six bookmarks in our Power BI report. And these are all the bookmark names that we have in our Power BI report. And then the next section here is the bookmark details. I'll come to that in a bit. The next section is data. This section is basically telling you if you have checked the data option in your bookmark or not. For example, in the cancelled orders bookmark, the data option is unchecked and that is why you see a cross option here. And the next section here is the display section and you can see that all the bookmarks here have checked the display option. The next section here is the current page section. This bookmark is now basically telling you in which page that particular bookmark is going to take an effect. For example, the first one here, cancelled orders page select, which means that it is going to select the cancelled orders page and then make any further changes to the visuals in the cancelled orders page. Likewise, I have another bookmark here called sales trend page select, and this is going to affect all of the visuals or select the page called sales trend. The next section here is the option called all visuals. This is basically telling you if the all visuals section is checked or not. And all of these bookmarks here have the all visuals option checked except for sales trend page select which is unchecked and likewise we have the selected visuals here and you can see that all the bookmarks here have the selected visual option unchecked. Now let's dive in a little more detail about these bookmarks. I'm going to click on this plus icon here, which will basically give you a whole host of information related to that particular bookmark. At the top here, we have the bookmark name followed by the filter pane. It is basically telling me whether my filter pane is closed or open when I click on that particular bookmark. In this case, it is closed. And it is also telling me that what page level filters have been applied when I click on this particular bookmark. It says that my status is canceled that filter is applied using this particular bookmark. And then I have various visuals that are there in this particular report page, which is canceled orders. And you can see that I have the visual type of image, visual type of text box, etc. I have a slicer here and visual title it is giving you all of the details here. And it is also telling you which field is used in that particular slicer. In this case, it is ship date and it is denoted by C here, which basically means that it is a column. And let's scroll down here. It is also telling you how is this being ordered by in this case it is ascending by ship state field and then let's scroll down here and you can see that on my visual type stack bar chart here you can see that this particular visual is being hidden by this particular bookmark and you can see that we have used the column here called sales channel and then we also have a measure here called number of orders which is being denoted by the M here now let me click on another bookmark here. I'm going to click on just plus icon and I will have all of the details here. And you can see that the bookmark name here is called June filter. The filter pane here is open. In my previous case here, the filter pane was closed. And in this case here, in my June filter bookmark, it is telling me that the filter pane is now open and the page level filter is applied here. There is an additional date filter which is being applied when you click on this particular bookmark, which is the date filter. And it is telling me that it is greater than or equal to 2022 first of June. And then let's scroll down a little and then let's take a look at the seventh visual that we have here, which is a stacked bar chart. And then this is telling me that this particular visual is hidden by that particular bookmark. 
and now let's take a look at another bookmark here called sales channel and you can see that the filter pane is open the status is cancelled there are no other filters being applied by this particular bookmark and then let's scroll down here in this case the seventh visual that we saw in the other bookmark here was hidden by the other bookmarks that we saw but in this case it is not hidden so, and then let's scroll down and you can see that in this case the 11th visual that we have here number of orders by category that particular visual is being hidden when I click on category here and let's scroll down and you can see that in this case the sales channel visual is being hidden here but on the sales channel bookmark when I scroll down I have the 11th visual here which is number of orders by category that particular visual is being hidden by the sales channel bookmark now let me give you a live demo of how things change. I have selected the sales trend page select here. Let me scroll down and then head over to the number of orders by category visual, the ninth visual here. And you can see that I have my category and number of orders and this is sorted in descending order by number of orders. I have now opened the Power BI file and this is the visual that we are talking about. Now I'm going to change the sort order of this particular visual, sort axis, and I would like to sort this by category instead of number of orders. And I'm going to update my sales trend page select bookmark I'm going to click on update here and then let's save this file head back to power ops and now you can see that it says that the file has been modified since last loaded I'm going to click on reload now just give it a couple of seconds the file will get reloaded and now let's click on the plus icon again over here and now let's scroll down to the visual the ninth visual here the number of orders by category and now you can see that the sort order of this visual has been changed from number of orders to descending category with Power Ops, managing bookmarks in Power BI is no longer a mystery. Whether you are dealing with simple or complex reports, having a clear understanding of what each bookmark does is crucial and Power Ops gives you that clarity at your fingertips. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon for more Power BI tips and tricks. And don't forget, download Power Ops today and experience the ease of managing bookmarks and other Power BI features for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.